Hey, hey, Coach Trife is back again with a new tutorial. In today's edition, I'm going to teach you how to raid Charles on them rails or simply said, backside switch up pressing 70 m So, what do you need in order to start learning this trick, the raid Charles? Well, First of all, we need you to be able to ride the rail with any stance, meaning left foot forward or right foot forward. Also, that you're able to do back set to 70 out. Why? Well, it's simple because it, the rail charles is a combination out of these two and being able to do the single parts will more likely end up in the success of you learning this trick on the first tries. First of all, you try to approach the rail in an angle, quite steeply if possible, which will allow you to put your leading skis inside edge straight into the tube once you actually land on it. That way, you can abuse the momentum of your approach to instantly push yourself from the rail into the backside switch up mode. While also approaching, I always have my eyes on the end of a rail, so I can make sure I have a nice takeoff onto the rail, because sometimes if you don't hop on nicely, it can instantly cost you the trick. We know rail skiing is tedious, the slightest imperfection or wobble can put you off the rail, so that's just how it is. Once I jump onto it, I'll look down onto my feet so I can actually focus on doing the backside switch up motion by bending down the right ski, like the tip down the noses, and then initiate the backside swap while turning in my shoulder, also applying pressure on the inside ski edge so I can build up friction, which we all know creates the backside switch up motion. And then you hop off and then spot the rail obviously in order to land with a nice backside switch up and then most importantly as you finish the switch up everything changes so basically you transition your weight onto your back leg that is not leading but trailing so that allows you to fully pressurize your leading ski with your inside edge of the new leading ski in my case that's the left leg now fully into the rail so you can actually you have to imagine yourself that you're trying to stop your own motion with the edges while banking up the ski into the rail and try to push against the rail as hard as you can so you can actually create the friction you need in order to stop your first motion and then allow yourself to try even pretzeling into the other direction. So as you can see in the picture here, I'm fully pressing into the rail now with my new leading ski, with the new leading inside edge of the ski so I can actually break. So about the uh, press to 70 out or simply set back two out. At this point, you've successfully done the back to switch up, also landing on your inside edge. What I mean by that is that you have already created the pressure to stop your first momentum and also initiate the rotation to the counter direction so you can perform the pretzel. In that case, you've already spotted the end of a rail. Keep looking at the end of a rail so you actually know when it lands. A lot of people sometimes just look up to the takeoff and don't even bother when the rail lands. Problem with that is you never know when it actually ends and you possibly take off too early or catch an edge or whatever. It just looks kind of weird. And in my opinion, you should never give up control when you can actually have control over it. And therefore, spot the end and then at the end, Abuse the friction you've maintained after the swap. Pop off for the back set to 70 out. Land right away clean. And you've successfully done the Ray Charles at this point. If you got any questions or problems or whatever, just shoot me videos on my email. Make sure that you guys subscribe. I hope this tutorial helped clearing up things about the blinds that switch up press to 70 or Ray Charles. This was your coach Trifus, and see you in the next episode. Peace.